Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Christmas Decorate with me. My name is Krista and today I'll be giving my bedroom a Christmas makeover. So if you're into making your bedroom into a cozy winter wonderland, you're in the right spot. I hope you'll enjoy and possibly get some inspiration. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you do. Okay, so here are the decorations I am using for my bedroom for Christmas. There are only a few things here that are new. Most of this, um, most of these items are things that I have already had. So I am very excited just to be reusing some items and saving a little money that way, but making it look different by changing some things up. And also this is a new house, so that changes things as well. Um, so I just have all of these items that I'm showing you here for a very winter woodsy thing. Now, I am so excited to share with you all Pure Down. I've received the Clip Jacquard Duvet Cover in white and a pack of 300 thread count pillows filled with 100% goose down. And let me tell you, the quality of these items have exceeded my expectations. Pure Down focuses on giving you a premium night's sleep with the smallest carbon footprint. They are one of the largest humane manufacturers in down industry while giving you the most reasonable prices. So if you're looking to get a better night's rest or for Christmas to give a better night's rest, definitely click the links below and see what all they have to offer. Also use the code Krista15 to get 15% off when you check out. Okay, so I am just going to show you all just a quick little montage of changing everything out. If I showed you every little piece, then it would take so long. So I just wanted to show you all bits and pieces of what I'm doing to change out my bedding. So it's one thing to feel the coziness and the comfort from this duvet cover, but to see it being played back on this video, I am just thrilled. I love looking at it. It just looks so beautiful. And since I have filmed this, I have slept in this bed probably just a few nights, but I can tell you it is so worth it. I absolutely love it. So I just want to say thank you so much, Pure Down, for sponsoring this video. Now, I wish I could give you all my own feedback for the pack of pillows that I received. However, my husband claimed those. Um, but I will say that that is saying something because he is very particular about his pillows. He will keep a good set of pillows for at least five years and we recently tossed these. So he claimed these and he's been sleeping on them and loving them. So that says a lot.
Okay, so I have never put a garland on the top of the bed frame before, um, but I did have one that I have had for years. I probably got it from Dollar Tree years ago, so I just added it on there, and then I took the $5 one that I got from the Target Dollar Spot and added it on top because it had like the pine cones, and I thought it added just a, some different colors and textures. And then now I'm adding in some baked sink twinkle lights, and if you've watched my Christmas video videos before, um, you know you know that I use these in my mom's house and they are my favorite twinkle lights because you can be playing Christmas music or watching a movie with a lot of music in it and these twinkle lights will sync up to that music and I just love them and I got those from Walmart. And here is the final product of the bed. I am just so in love with the way this all looks, especially when the lights are turned out and everything is lit up. It's just so beautiful and cozy. And I didn't even want to get into bed that night because it just looks so beautiful all made. Now for our nightstands, we actually use these. You can see that I have Ridley's diapers and wipes there for the upstairs little basket of diapers. Um, so we do put our phones and watches and everything on charge here. So I didn't want to add too much to the nightstands. So I found these beautiful battery powered lit birch trees from Aldi. There was a pack of two, I believe they're around $15. So I snatched those up and I'm gonna add one to each of the nightstands. And then here at my desk area, I have just a little bit of this greenery. I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby years ago, and I'm just going to change out the fall uh, florals to this. Okay, now for the long, shorter dresser we have, it is a mess, and it has been this way since we've moved in. There is a DVD player there, and then just, we keep the fan there because we have it on all night long, and then, of course, the camera where I watch Ridley if I have to go downstairs or anything, I can see her, but it's just a mess of wires, so I decided today's the day I'm going to fix all of this, so I took the surge protector there, and I put some of the phone double-sided tape on the back of it and I actually taped it to the side of the dresser and then I moved everything to the left side so it kind of just got it out of the way and then I put the fan you'll see here in just a minute I put it in the middle of it to kind of just make it the focal point I guess it is a pretty fan so I just wanted to put it there because we do use it and then I moved the camera over to the desk area
Okay, so now that all of that is moved out of the way, it looks better just like that. But I found this Oh Holy Night sign with the, all of the lyrics on it. I believe I got this one from Hobby Lobby. So I thought I'm going to put this right here where the wire is just so I can kind of hide that a little bit. And then I also got this tree years ago from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to add it too. So see you can kind of barely see the wire there anymore. And then I'm just going to add this angel here that I've had for years as well. I believe it also came from Hobby Lobby as well as these furry presents that I just love. Now I normally stack them side by side just standing up but I thought well I really want to save a little room and I also want to add it a little height on the other end. So I stacked them up this way and put them with the Santa Claus and the Joy sign and I believe all of that came from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so for the top of this tall dresser, I have a beautiful little stable setting here I got from Hobby Lobby. Of course, everything was half off, so I did not pay that price, but I do believe that it's worth it because it is very detailed and beautiful, and it has even the little fake uh, straw on it. And then this you see here, the camel and um, everything else that goes with it is my great-grandmother's nativity set. Um, when she passed away and then her husband passed, um, we were all splitting up, you know, their possessions that they had and I was able to get this and I have displayed it every year in my home, um, with the exception of the last three years since, um, I lived with my parents, um, while we were building this one. So I am super excited to have it out and displayed again. However, this year it does look different because I made the bold decision to paint it all white. Um, on the bottom of each of these, there's the initials, I believe it's KT and the year 1976. So this nativity scene is almost 50 years old. And so the paint is just, it was wearing off and it was looking really rough. So I decided to paint it all white for this year and just see how I like it. And then I took very good pictures in good lighting just in case I ever wanted to go back and paint it the original colors. And I may do that next year. We'll see. But I am very happy with the way it turned out. Um, it definitely reminds me of just being pure and it definitely makes a statement with it being white. Okay, so here is the final look at my Christmas bedroom, and I love it. I love how everything turned out. I love that this is like snow white, so I can use it in the winter time as well, and just change out the blankets and like the pillow, make it a very easy transition into winter. I love that. It looks so cozy. I cannot wait to get in. And then here is how my nativity scene turned out. It's not perfect the way I painted it. I was really in a huge hurry. Um, but like I've said, I am 
I did take pictures of everything and how the colors were on it. I may go back with that or I've seen some where it just has like the trim of things of clothing in like a gold or a brown and just maybe some a little bit of detail so it's not just so stark so maybe I'll do that next year but we'll see it still looks really pretty and it definitely stands out so I really like that now as far as this dresser goes I have never decorated it and absolutely loved the way everything looks until now and I've had this dresser for hmm, probably 10 years it didn't always look like this we had this painted and stated uh, stained years ago um, but like I said I have never decorated it and just loved it like I do now I really think that it all turned out great and beautiful and cozy looking and just really made a statement here. I definitely love looking at this. And then even over here, it's just very simple. It's not too much, but it definitely adds just a little something on this wall because this wall is just doors. That's pretty much all this wall is, is doors. <laughs> so it definitely added a little touch of Christmas here. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please share, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know. Let me know if you really enjoyed it because I have so many more to come. Thank you all. Have a day. Have a good day.